Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to configure the software for the 3D printer. So, first things first, I need to connect to the printer. And in this terminal window, I'll just ping the printer to see its IP address on the local network. And I need just to copy it and paste it into Safari or any browser that you've got. It'll work just the same. Now, so right after a fresh install, I can see here these ugly errors that I need to fix. So I'm heading on to the voroundesign.com webpage and going to the build software configuration, and I need to take the config for my specific build, I'm running an octopus board, so I'm taking the octopus config file, copy it, and then in the control panel of the printer, under the configuration in printer config, I have to paste the contents of the config. So this is the blank config for my octopus board. Next, I'll be going through the config file and update it in order to remove all the errors so I can start running commands on the printer. First thing is to update the MCU serial number. And to do this, I need to check the documentation a little bit. And yeah, it seems that I need to connect to the printer using SSH, so back in the terminal I go and SSH into the printer okay so once connected I need to run these commands right here and this is the serial number I just have to copy it and paste it in the config file like so. I'll just quickly go through the config file. So we'll leave everything as it is. Uh, I'm going to uncomment these things that are for my build. So I'm using a 300 millimeter build. Just uncommenting that. For the stepper drivers I am using a TMC2209 so I'll just leave that as it is. These will be fine-tuned later. Again, uncomment uh, position max for my build and clean up everything else. I am not using an Octopus Pro, so this is going to be the enable pin for the Stepper Z1. Same thing here, for the Octopus 1, the heater pin is going to be PA2. So here in the extruder section, I have to check my sensor type. So going through the documentation here, I am using an NTC 100K, so I'll just copy that value from there. I'm commenting the heater pin for the heated bed. In my case, I'm using the default wiring, so PA3 is good for me. And the sensor type, going through the documentation here, I'm using again an NTC 100K. So just copy and paste that in the config. Here's the setup for the gantry corners. I'm commenting for my 300 millimeter size printer, removing the rest. So on the display section, my printer uses a 
mini 12864 LCD display so I'm gonna uncomment that I'm also using NeoPixel RGB LEDs so I'm going to uncomment these two sections as well and that's it for the config file I'll just save and restart and see if I got rid of all the errors yep it seems I still have a few so I'll just get back in the config and see what's that all about check the probe section and indeed here I need to specify the pin for the probe and my build uses uh, a diode for this pin and I think it's gonna be this one PG15 so I'll uncomment that one save and restart now let's see if it's complaining some more yep so I'll need to set up some fluid specific configurations this is a virtual SD card that it needs so I'll get back into the into the configuration and set up this fluid specific section uh, it's also complaining about display status so I'll copy that paste it here and another thing is the pause resume and if I paste this one in I'll have to also include the macro for the pause resume actually this is the cancel print macro that I'll paste at the bottom of the config file again save and restart and fingers crossed all right now all the errors are gone the printer is ready to take commands but before doing anything the motor directions need to be set up properly this and printer configuration fine-tuning will be coming up in the next video